In this video, we're going to talk about the whole moving average. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. Okay, so moving averages. We're all pretty familiar with the standard concept of a moving average. A simple moving average basically takes the number of periods that we're looking at. So for a 20 period moving average on a daily chart, it's gonna take the 20 closing prices of the day if we're printing on the close and an average of it. And so because of that, we're gonna get a lot of lag because it's based on stuff that's happened in the past and it's averaging out. Now we know that we can kind of minimize that by bringing the time frame by bringing the moving average quicker. So a lower number, so five, that's gonna be more aggressive. It's gonna move quicker with the price, but it's not gonna be as smooth and see what's going on. We can overcome that a little bit by using an exponential moving average, which adds a little bit of more weighting to the current price. And so instead of just being a simple moving average, you know, we've got um, a little bit more kind of understanding that the price at the moment is more relevant than the price we've had 20 periods ago. So it, 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 it addresses that slightly. It's not perfect, but it addresses it slightly. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put in an exponential moving average, a simple moving average, and we'll look at the pair. So I've got an exponential moving average here. I'm gonna stick them both onto 20, and I'm gonna stick the style, make them nice and thick, and I'll make this one red, the exponential one's red, and I've got a traditional moving average here, um, which I'm going to make also 20, and I'm gonna thicken up. Okay, so we can see exactly the difference. And then what we will as we'll do is we'll look at the whole moving average as well. So you can see very, very similar, guys. It's not going to revolutionize your trading switching from a simple to an exponential. However, let's look at what's called a whole moving average and look at the difference. This is now on a 20 period. Now, go and check out um, alanhold.com if you want to find out more of how it's calculated. But ultimately, it's it's a way of smoothing out the moves of the market yet not being lagged. So it's quite clever the way it takes the average, it takes the average of a, of a I won't spoil it for you. If, you. if you're interested in it, go and check it out. Anyway, what we're interested in here in this video is how to make money out of it, right? This is about making trading strategies or developing trading strategies that we can perhaps use ourselves. So let me minimize the other moving averages and we'll just use the hull. Now, Alan Hull himself says, you shouldn't use it as a crossover strategy. Now I see a lot of people using it as a crossover strategy and that's fine, if it works for you, that's great. He says on his website that really the whole point of it is to use it on its own with whichever kind of time frame you're looking at and you trade the turns. In other words, as it starts to slope upwards, and I think some packages, by the way, will allow you to do this as it changes color. Sorry, as it changes slope, it will change color. So it's red on a downslope. When it changes back up, it'll be green. So his premise of this is, hey, as it starts to turn up, you go long. So you're kind of going long here. You're riding it as it starts to turn down. You go short. You're riding it as it turns up. You go long. You're riding it. That's the theory behind it. He doesn't suggest using a, movie, a crossover system because, uh, because of the nature of the fact it's not lagging. However, Comments below, guys, if you think that you could add this to maybe a normal moving average to perhaps give you a trading signal. Perhaps you could use this kind of tighter moving average. We could tighten this up a simple moving average to a 10. Use when the hole crosses the 10. That would be very similar to price, but would give you a little bit more of a lag, maybe giving you a bit more of a broader move, not getting whipped out so much. Anyway, the point is there's variations we can use. We know the score. And if you look at how you chat this changes, go to 100 period, it doesn't change that much in reality to 100 period if you're using a proper moving average would kind of be you know really slow and really behind the price so something to look at if you like your moving averages if you like using an indicator that gives you the nod to say yes i want to go long i want to go short and you're trying to get on the on the end of a big trend because don't forget that's the whole premise really of a moving average strategy is that you're looking to trade the trend. You're looking to find something that's really kicking off. Um, and I think, you know, just eyeballing this 100 is too much, isn't it? You can see that it kind of doesn't really get what you want it to do. But back to the point, you know, if you're looking to get on the end of a trend, you find moving averages are perhaps a little bit lagging. Perhaps they're not quite doing what you want them to do. Check out a whole moving average. Just say go to alanhole.com to see how it's calculated if you're interested. But, you know, 
put it up on some charts, put it on some different time frames, have a little play around with it and see if you can develop a strategy out of it. And if you come up with something, stick it in the comments below. would love to hear your thoughts on it and if you could integrate it with your trading or if there's another tool or indicator to put in. Perhaps you could use a filter, a trigger, whatever. Always interested to hear your comments, guys. Um, anyway, that's it for this one. Check out the next video. Take care. Good trading. Keep the risk managed as always. Bye-bye.